Hello YouTube, Modern Game Master Mino here. Today, uh, I just want to show you guys something. Um, I, I, I didn't even rage to get to Arena Eight. I just got here right now. I'm gonna show you guys two replays. Um, one of them were against Sparky and stuff, but let's go ahead and watch it. Uh, let's watch the first one where the guy made a mis big mistake. What are you doing? Cause he ignored my 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 last push. So hold on. So he has a giant witch deck, which my deck pretty much handle it. Um, but this deck can't handle it as much. But I just fireball that witch, and I fireballed all of that. He fireballs my eyes woods and I placed down a witch to take care of that. All I can do is zap zap all of my troops right there. So we're working on a counter push right now and let's see we're gonna take out that ice wizard and place down a hog rider. And if and our Valkyrie's gonna tank for a little bit. You're just enough for our hog to get a couple extra hits. So we get a good amount of hits, get it down to 790. So now, to deal with a Valkyrie, you can pretty much use your own Valkyrie because your tower will do a lot of damage too. So then I placed on my goblins, and he placed on his witch. That witch is still alive, and my Valkyrie is dead, so he places down a giant in front of his witch. And once my once his witch targets my my ice wizard, I place down my spirit golems to deal with all that. So right now he zaps my ice wizard, so that's the perfect timing to place down that, so then... See here, he fireballs my minion horde and one of my goblins, but that's okay. Place down a mini pekka. My hog rider gets one shot, which is awesome. Because we got one shot. As so we take care of that pekka. Fireball the witch. We could have fireballed the ice wizard too, but uh, he placed it down way too early. But he zapped all that, even his, his, his goblin. So he fireballs be before I place down my minion hole, which gives me the advantage. He also uses zapped, which gives me a good advantage too. But here, since I know that his witch will take out all my things, I fireball it, and he thinks that he will take the advantage here, but I chose. I chose his destiny, so basically we're gonna start a good push right here. He thinks he could just beat us just like this. See, he plays down his mini Pekka on the other side, and look, look at our push. He can't stop it. He just zaps it, thinks, thinking that he could double ice wizard. He thinks he could win, but we won. We say thanks because he pushed. He he decided to go for the queen three crown, which we all know. That's a rule that you must follow. Do not go for the three crown when when someone is going after the after the two crown. So this one got me to to the frozen peak. This guy was a level seven with the Sparky. So yeah, um, this this, this guy was lucky that he got the he got the Sparky card. But the funny thing is that he doesn't know how to use it. So. So yeah, so it's gonna be a while since we do anything. So place down spear goblins. I'm gonna put it on two X. Place down spear goblins and you place it on Infernal Tower, I don't know why, but then you place it on a Sparky and this deck is pretty good with with Sparky's if you practice it a lot. So this so this guy played the musketeer then 
in the in the wizard. Then I put my Valkyrie. I zap the Sparky and put my Valkyrie so that my Valkyrie would be be still alive and take out all those troops right there. And we just did a ton of damage because he 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 just ran out of, ran out of elixir. So we have the elixir advantage now. To use this deck, you must you must have the elixir advantage. You must make sure of it before you start your push. So then start pushing here. I placed on my original Valkyrie and Hog push. So he has another Sparky up. So I placed on Mini Horde right behind it. Take care of that. Doesn't touch my tower. And it, and he missed most of my minions. And the tower's targeting my Hog Rider and not the minions. So the minions will will help out. Three seconds left, and we won. And I got there, and I was happy. I was like, "Oh my god, I thought I thought it was gonna be hard, but it wasn't that hard." Now the main cards I want in this arena is the Ice Spirit, because I don't think this will do anything or this, but I really want the Ice Spirit because it will help out a lot. But I, I don't think I will use it. I, I'll stick to my deck. So that's it for today, guys. Join my clan if you want. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.